So this morning, it's time to look at my favourite, or what I think is the best, from 2023. And we're at number 28. And it is John Mellencamp, Orpheus Descending. Now this is the 25th record by John Mellencamp, previously known as John Cougar Mellencamp, and I think for a while he was just known as John Cougar, which is uh, a little bit confusing. Anyway, it's a good record. It's been out since the summer. I've been listening to it on and off since then more on and off and it deals with all sorts of interesting topics um, the state of America as it was recorded uh, personal revelations personal feelings politics all sorts of issues like that essentially John Mellencamp now as he's known has, to my ear, gone into sort of a country rock phase. That's what this sounds like to me. Um, my first encounter with John Cougar Mellencamp's music, as it was then, was the single Jack and Diane, which was everywhere in the mid 80s. Great song, great, great song. Uh, told a story about, well, you know, couple of American kids, teenagers in love. Brilliant song. So what's on this? Well, as I say, it's, it's quite country rock in its feel. There's not that many musicians on it, I'll tell you not much. So who is on it? Uh, obviously John Mellencamp. And guitars and vocals. You've got Dane Clark on drums, Lisa Germano on violin and backing vocals, hence the sort of country feel to this record. Uh, you have, and that's pretty much it, Andrew York on bass guitar. Some nice bass guitar playing on this. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's, so it's not, I thought there would be a lot of musicians on this, but there really isn't. It's only four or five. And it really does have a lot of space on this record. It's a good feeling record. Um, it's cathartic in that sense. I mean, you could put this on on Christmas Day after your meal and play it quite happily. It's not going to bring anybody down. It's, especially if you're a young couple, it's quite romantic. See, the thing about John Cougar Mellencamp, or John Cougar, or John Mellencamp, whatever he wants to call himself, is he, this guy's a romantic singer-songwriter. And it comes across, but he doesn't do it really, really brutally. He doesn't hit you over the head with sweet romance and schmaltz and anything too sugary. There's none of that. Whilst his lyrics can be political and can be edgy, there is romance there in these love songs. Even though it's a little bit introspective at times, there is romance there. So this guy is a, a bit of a, a poet. Um, if you've not ever heard John Mellencamp's songs, any of them, and it wouldn't be that surprising, because um, he doesn't get a lot of airplay. Then think of Springsteen. Think of a poor man's Bruce Springsteen. And funnily enough, Bruce Springsteen did actually write one of the songs on here. What songs have we got on here? Well, we have... So, it starts off with Hey God, which is a great song. The Eyes of Portland. Mm. The So-Called Free is good. The Kindness of Lovers. It's probably my favourite song on the album. That is what I mean about romance. Hear the song The Kindness of Lovers by John Cougar. Because, sorry, 
keep saying John Mellencamp. It's a great song. Amen. Mm, okay. Orpheus descending. Mm, not bad. Understated reference. Now that's very good. Really good. One more trick. Great song. Lightning and Luck. Fantastic song. Perfect World. Another brilliant song. This time written by Bruce Springsteen. So there obviously is a strong con connection between Springsteen and Mellencamp. Uh, then it finishes with Backbone, which is another great song. So this, this CD really is bottom heavy. It starts off well, like every CD nowadays should do, but then it kind of slows down a little bit, and then it picks up the pace with pure quality towards the end, and finishes brilliantly. Um, Backbone is a great way to finish the record, because not only is it nice and relaxing and lets you out of the album peacefully, it also is a song about dying, essentially. So why not put that at the end? Because it is about the end. But again, not in a negative way. You're not going to start crying. You're not going to be really depressed by this. Not at all. This is a cathartic record. It makes you feel good. It keeps your foot tapping. Even other songs, at times, can be quite slow. He's a genius at that, at keeping you interested, keeping you feeling the beat. He just knows what he's doing. Now his voice, his voice is interesting because I've not heard, before I got this, I've not heard Malenkamp for a long time. And his voice is, it shows a weariness. But you would expect that. This is an older gentleman now, an older artist. And he does remind me a little bit of Springsteen. He does sound the way Springsteen sounds now. Now, reviews were largely positive. There was a good strong comeback, and they compared it to some of his classic solo records. And I can only agree with that. I think this is good. I, wasn't, I didn't know what to expect. And I was pleasantly surprised. So that is John Mellencamp Orpheus Descending, number 28 in my best stroke favourite records of 2023.